I see it coming. Oh my god! It is two people to bring it. Oh. We're finishing it. Good morning from Singapore. Reason why it's so dark outside, because it's four in the morning, and guess who's jet lagged? Right here. Super jet lagged, may up since three. Uh, so I figured, let's see if there's anything open at, well, by the time I get downstairs, you know, get everything together, probably be around 5 a.m. Let's see what's open at 5 a.m. in Singapore. I'm on the west side of Singapore, going to a place called Weiyi Laksa. And this is supposed to be the best laksa on the west side. I feel like this is gonna be right now a west side laksa story, but without the, you know, gang violence and potential death. But there will be love. And this is what I love about Singapore. It's about 5.30, 5.40 in the morning. Places are open, smell of food in the air. I'm not joking one little bit when I say I want to live here so badly. This place just opened, already a line. Laksa at like five o'clock in the morning. Tell me that's not so much better than bacon and eggs. This is what I call a proper Singaporean breakfast. And this thing, it's got such a rich aromatic coconut aroma. Fried tofu floating on top like delicious little sponges soaking up all those chilies and oils. A little bit more of chilies on top. Some herbs and masquerading the delicious noodles hiding, lurking below the surface. Look at this. What did I tell you about this thing soaking up all that soup? And of course, tender pieces of chicken. And also, I got a bowl of shrimp noodles, some fish tofu crispy pork skin. Oh, man. Oh, that is a creamy, rich slurp of soup. I feel like the soup consistency is a little thinner, a little more watery than the other laksa that I have. I do kind of prefer the more creamy, thicker version of laksa, but it's got that great rich coconutty flavor and that thing will go down smooth it tastes better oh where did they find such tender chicken that chicken is so tender it can start in every single rom-com out there also i really like the noodles rice noodles retains that beautiful chewy texture even though it's been sitting in the soup for about the last 10 minutes basically when everything combined you get that chewy soup filled sponge of a fried tofu that's why i think makes this really 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 good just grab a nice chopstick full and stuff in your face The incredible flavor, the great hominess feeling to it. That's when I know I'm truly in Singapore. Feel really daring? Let's scoop up some of these little chili peppers. Mmm. Yeah, I'll light your tongue on fire. I'll try some of these shrimp noodles. Oh, that soup is so good. It's a deeper flavor stock. I love the fried shallots and that crispy pork. I feel like the noodles here, it doesn't absorb as much of the flavor as the laksa. So for sure get the laksa, but I do like how rich the flavor of the soup is. This with a little hot oil, that's gonna make you happy. And also, if you are gonna get this, try to get it with the smaller noodles. This is lao mein noodles. It really doesn't soak up the soup that well. I wouldn't get these noodles, but this broth is really, really good. I'm so glad I ordered the clams. All these little clams are just like sitting on the bottom like little sunken treasure. I do wanna throw a couple tips out for you guys. A lot of you guys may ask me how to avoid jet lag, asking for some travel tips. My advice is to book a plane ticket that arrives towards the evening of your destination. So you can just go back to your hotel, maybe grab a light meal and just go to bed. You wake up the next day, 
everything's good. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Or if you're like me, you got in early yesterday, went to bed early, got up at 4 a.m. You can always just come here for breakfast. Because <laughs> Singapore, you can bet there's something yummy that's open all hours of the day. All right, that was some good lock stuff for breakfast. Got tons of seafood in there, but going to a place later today, it might be like seafood sensory overload. You'll see what I mean. I'm with Nick right now. Hello. I met Nick. Nick's one of my moderators on uh, on Twitch. So this area, what's it called again? Uh, Bugis. Bugis? Yeah. This whole street is like, oh, it is. It's all food. It's all food. Yeah. So we're going to this hot pot place. It's called Jiu Gong Hot Pot. And we had to order this like, uh, day in yeah, day in yeah. advance. Because it's too big. This stove will give you an indication how grand this dish is. It's the biggest seafood hot pot in this place. I'm slightly frightened, but I think it's just more excitement. Also, you gotta make your own sauce here. So I'm gonna go do that before the seafood comes. And so you get your typical hot pot sauce condiments here. In case there's not enough food to eat, I can always order some more skewers. I see it coming. Oh my god! <laughs> it needs two people to bring it. Oh! I'm pretty sure I gotta make room so they can actually put this stuff on my stove. When I die and eventually go to food heaven, this is what's waiting for me. It's kind of like the lobster is kind of soaking in a in a hot tub of spicy sauce, and he's just soaking in just a wide array of everything that's good under the sea. Basically got the entire cast of the Little Mermaid in here. How are you feeling right now, buddy? Scared. <laughs> You, uh, you didn't eat today, right? Nope. Starving. This is not just a simple like lobster soaked in broth. Or there's one, one, two, three, four, four lobsters. Yep. Crab. Six crabs. Mussels. We got oysters. We got clams. They didn't just put things in a broth. They actually made it dishes. It's a dish, yeah. You got little rice noodles with scallops, razor clams, crayfish and fries, quail eggs, corn. There's more below. Is there? Yeah. There's like cabbage and like and fungus and stuff below for sure. So this is like a seafood treasure hunt. Yeah. So as we we're eating, we're gonna discover new things. Yep. Let's do again. Mm. Of the clam. Scallop is amazing. This is actually really flavorful. Yeah, try that. Good stuff, huh? Mmm. This broth, like you said, is not very spicy. I think I would have preferred this a slight spicier. Mm. Oh, there's ramen. This is crazy because the noodles are gonna die. Yeah, they but probably already did. You can't put ramen in here for more than like a few minutes before this thing starts to die. Mm. You know what? Noodles are slightly soggy. They're still good. Mm. Oh, these razor clams. The razor clams are my favorite. Huge. Yeah. Dip that in the sauce a little bit. You don't really even need the, uh, the dipping sauce that we got. Oh, mm. You know? It's, it's got enough flavor just from the broth alone. Oh, I love the razor clam. Is this the most seafood you ever see in front of you at the same time? Yep. Ever in your life? Yep. Like, I'm still so excited about this. We haven't even touched the tower yet. We gotta conquer the tower. You know what? It tastes good on its own. Yep. But with the different sauce, you got a little sesame in there making it a little slightly creamy. I think it's better. You definitely don't need it, but it's good with that. You're conquering a... I'm, I'm peeling a prawn. Getting a prawn right now? Yep. I think they recommended this for, what, 15 people? Yep, about there. I think this is not enough for 15 people, honestly. I'm just saying. I mean, this is a lot for two people. I'm thinking this, like, is a good amount for about five people. Each person gets, like, a lobster, and then the rest, I mean, it's just seafood. There's also, like, ramen below. <laughs> we have no idea how much ramen's below. 
I'll tell you what, the prawns will be an issue because there's a lot of meat in the prawns. Broth is really good though. Broth is really good. I would drink this. All right, I'm going for one of the towers. Ooh, oh, this is a good sized lobster. You ever had a corn like this before? <laughs> I might have underestimated the size of the lobster. How's that? How's that lobster? The lobster is really good because it's not overcooked yet. It's really good. It's really fresh tasting too. I was gonna say, everything in here is really, really fresh. This is like the ultimate seafood hot pot experience. My right, prediction, how far do you think we're gonna get through? We can definitely finish half. all the lobster. I think, I think we, can, we do can do half at we least. We can do half. Well, I think the prices is actually pretty reasonable for this. This is what, like 280 Singapore dollars? 338. So big, it's not on the menu. We got this in the like how many people are like, <laughs> I love the scallops. This is probably my favorite thing here. They put a ton of garlic and noodles, and then the razor clams are the best. The garlic really makes it better. Mm -hmm. The vegetable sitting in this broth is it's it's really, really, really good. Really good. <laughs> what is that? Oh, there's, I found mussels. There's mussels? There's oh, mussels in here. It is a treasure trove. Mm -hmm. I don't care if that ramen is like a little soggy. It soaks think, up all the oh flavor. Oh yeah, you drinking the broth? How is that? Actually really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Under the oil is the mm -hmm. soup soup. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's like a nice clear, super seafoody broth. It's not too spicy. I want to say we're a third of the way through. Just like it. Mm -hmm. Without the tower, it's a lot yeah. less. We're on our way to the finish line. Are we finishing it? I think we should just finish it. I mean, okay, I'm done. A few moments later. All right, we got some corn left. We got some couple of claws, that's about it. But it's pretty safe to say we accomplished a lot more than we thought we would today. Yep. And that's a lesson in life. Never aim to just eat half of a 15 person meal with two people. Exactly. Always aim to eat it all. That's what I got out of all this. <laughs> You're only half full? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not, I mean, seafood is not that bad. I actually feel pretty darn good. All right, we're gonna clean this up a little more and then Ice cream. Yeah. Look at this. Fresh orange juice vending machine. Never see that. Nick just telling me this vending machine for frozen salmon. Yep. This is Nick's hidden ice cream shop. Rum raisin or lychee. Oh, that lychee is so good. Perfect after hot pot thing is ice cream. It kind of counteracts the spices. This is cold your stomach a little bit. All right, buddy. Thanks for doing the challenge with me. Well, it wasn't a challenge. That turned into a challenge. Yep. Good job, man. Yeah, I gotta go eat a grilled fish. <laughs> More seafood. Something else I love about Singapore is all the different food courts. Basically, in every single mall, shopping center, this is the 313 Somerset. And as if I didn't have enough seafood for today, we're going to Tanyu. Grilled fish. Oh my God. That's a long line. Hope it's really that good. Fresh matcha. I needed this very matcha. The knees and aching. I know I just ate like a like a 15 person crazy hot pot, but I'm still very excited for this. And this is crazy. They have malt candy. This in Chinese we call jiao si tang. I haven't seen this since I was a kid. One of my favorite drinks in Singapore. This is so good. If you come to Singapore, you gotta get it. Barley water. They serve it in basically every single hawker hawker stall. I mean every single hawker center. It's so good. Oh, I've got to mix it. You got to mix it because cooling as well. Yeah, it's just got this really great. It sounds weird, but a little thick texture to it. But it's so sweet and smooth and nice. That's a limbo fish. I guess uh, this one didn't make it past the limbo stick, right? <laughs> Ended up here. That's what happens when you lose fish. Oh my goodness! Yeah, all the vegetables hidden underneath the fish. 
Oh, good lord. So all that juice from the fish is just kind of soaking into that little root and all those imitation crab legs. It's kind of weird to see imitation crab right below a fish, but it, it is a popular hot pot ingredient. This looks awesome. Just covered in chilies and peppercorn. And they cut the fish for you. So first they cut it in half. Oh, that's a tender fish. That nomi and chili, all that just steeped into the flesh. Mm. That's a good eggplant. I almost like that better than a fish. Oh, this is good too. Barbecue here is good. This with some ramen would be just filthy good. Oh, potato in the chili. It was basically just a super delicious fish hot pot. Good type of spice. Some ping is good. Some pings are bad. Spicy pings are always good. That's a good way to cool down your mouth. A little herby plum soup. All right, that was a really seafood heavy day, but first day in Singapore, first full day in Singapore, lock stuff for breakfast, ate basically the entire ocean in a spicy tub, and had an amazing roasted fish. Yes, it was a lot, but it was a good day. So yeah, I feel a little dizzy from the food, but I'm gonna go ahead and call that a win. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. Also that little, little bell thingy. That'd be great if you hit that as well. As always, all the places I went to listed down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.